Welcome to this timeline presentation. As part of the timeline assessment activity, this video will guide you through pivotal events, influential figures, and key locations that shaped history. Please pay close attention to the details as they will enhance your understanding and contribute to your success in this course. Enjoy the journey. In 1250, Florence witnessed a significant shift in power when guilds, the backbone of the city's economic and social life, took control. This transition marked the beginning of a popular government, distinguishing Florence from the feudal systems still prevalent in much of Europe. Guilds were associations of artisans and merchants who controlled the practice of their craft in the city, ensuring quality and fair trade. Their rise to power laid the groundwork for a more democratic form of governance, enabling a flourishing of art, culture, and economic prosperity that would later define the Renaissance era. This pivotal moment not only transformed Florence's political landscape, but also set the stage for the innovations and achievements that characterized the Renaissance. In 1305, Giotto, a pioneering figure of the Italian Renaissance, completed the frescoes in the Scriveni, Arena, Chapel in Padua, heralding a new era in art. His work broke away from the flat, symbolic style of medieval art, introducing more naturalistic landscapes and emotionally expressive figures. This shift signaled the beginning of the Renaissance's focus on humanism and the natural world. Giotto's use of perspective and his ability to capture the human emotion in his frescoes laid the foundation for future artists to explore and express the human condition more realistically. His contributions to the Arena Chapel are considered one of the early masterpieces of Renaissance art, reflecting a significant departure towards realism and individual expression. In 1307, Amidst a tumultuous life marred by political strife and subsequent exile from Florence, Dante Alighieri began composing The Divine Comedy. This monumental work is not only a masterpiece of Italian literature, but also a harbinger of the Renaissance spirit. Dante's journey through hell, purgatory, and paradise reflects a deep engagement with human experiences and emotions, embodying the Renaissance's nascent humanist ideals. By blending classical references with contemporary political and philosophical themes, Dante laid the groundwork for a revival of classical antiquity characteristic of the Renaissance. His use of the vernacular Italian, rather than Latin, made his profound and complex ideas accessible to a broader audience, significantly influencing the course of Western literature and thought. In 1345, Petrarch penned his famous Letter to Cicero, marking a significant moment in the early Renaissance as it underscored the era's intellectuals' profound connection with Roman history and their awareness of entering a new, modern age. Through this imaginative letter to the ancient Roman orator, Petrarch expressed both admiration and a sense of kinship, highlighting the Renaissance's rediscovery and reverence for classical antiquity. This epistolary expression of Petrarch's longing for the intellectual dialogue of Rome's golden age exemplifies the period's hallmark return to classical sources for inspiration and guidance. Furthermore, it reflects the burgeoning humanist movement, emphasizing individual potential and the critical study of classical texts as a lens through which to understand the present. Petrarch's work vividly illustrates the transition from medieval to modern thought, bridging two worlds through the revival of classical wisdom. In 1348, the Black Plague, a catastrophic pandemic, swept through Italy, leaving a profound impact on society at every level. It decimated populations, disrupting the social, economic, and cultural fabric of the time. This devastating event led to a significant decrease in the labor force, which, paradoxically, resulted in improved economic conditions for the survivors, as wages rose and wealth became slightly more distributed. The plague also prompted a shift in people's attitudes towards life and death, influencing art and philosophy to reflect more on mortality, suffering, and the human condition. This collective trauma contributed to a questioning of existing societal norms and religious doctrines, setting the stage for the radical changes in thought and creativity that characterized the Renaissance. The Black Plague, thus, acted as a grim catalyst for transformation, reshaping Italian society in ways that would have lasting effects on the course of European history. In 1397, a pivotal moment in the history of the Renaissance occurred when Byzantine scholar Manuel Chrysoloras moved to Florence. 
His arrival marked a significant infusion of Greek knowledge into Western Europe, deeply influencing the early humanists. Chrysoloras taught Greek language and literature, reintroducing the works of Homer, Plato, and Aristotle to a Western audience largely unfamiliar with these texts. His teachings provided the intellectual tools needed to explore these ancient works directly rather than relying on secondary sources or Latin translations. This direct access to Greek classical texts energized the humanist movement, fostering a culture of critical inquiry and intellectual rigor. Chrysoloris's impact extended beyond his own students. He helped lay the foundation for the Renaissance's revival of classical antiquity, shaping the intellectual landscape of Europe for centuries to come. Thank you for watching this timeline presentation. Remember, your journey through history doesn't end here. There's an assessment based on this video waiting for you. It's your chance to showcase what you've learned about the people, places, and events we've explored. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing your insights and understanding reflected in your work.